In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly why millennial money just shut down or stopped making videos. Yes, these, these three guys, uh, him and then all these, just said that they stopped making money, uh, stopped making videos. Uh, this is the last uh, video and it's not a clickbait. And now I don't want to hear in the comments from my, you guys that why are you talking about other YouTubers? I think it's important what's going on with other creators, especially when they are dealing with retail. Because retail right now, I would say, is pretty much done. These guys, not so much him, but these guys rode the wave of when the market was in a bull market and picked weak investments, horrible investments, led their subscriber base to a slaughterhouse. And remember, there's a difference between picking horrible investments that go down and people in good, uh, picking good investments that go down. When everything goes down, everything goes down. But now, then, what matters is what are the fundamentals behind. So that's why I'm talking about it. But let's have a listen to first their reasoning why they are shutting down. And I'm going to tell you, I'm speculating, this is not the reason why they're shutting down. But let's have a listen. Welcome back to another episode of Millennial Money. And let me ask you a question. Have you ever been tired? burnt out, <laughs> feel like you don't have enough hours in the day. Well, I got the cure for you and uh, it's called our last video. It's called taking, taking a Taking a vacation. <laughs> taking a vacation for once. Yeah. So this is true. This is not a joke. This is not an early April Fool's video. We are actually doing our last episode here mm -hmm. for a little bit at least because we all need a vacation. Am I right? <laughs> Ooh, it's a bit, yeah. People don't understand that YouTube grind, man. Uh, no, it's true. Yeah. Okay. So... It's not a YouTube grind. I can tell you that right away. Uh, what really happens here is two things. Kevin, meet Kevin, and then the market is terrible. And these guys, him, the other guy, not so much him, are feeling a lot of pressure. I'm feeling a lot of pressure, so I understand. But they're feeling a lot of pressure. And this, uh, this YouTube channel... Millennial Money, that now has 174,000 subscribers. Who started it? Who is hosting this? And they said it in this video, Meet Kevin started it and is hosting it, right? So everything goes through Meet Kevin. And if you've been following some of the drama, like for example with him, uh, I, he posted a video, uh, uh, supposedly by mistake, leaving notes that Meet Kevin didn't, didn't pay them for millennial money, right? So they're not friends anymore with Meet Kevin. They, these guys stopped following him on Instagram. They're doing the show. Meet Kevin is collecting all the money and then meet um, out all the advertising money and Meet Kevin has to, they have to beg Meet, meet Kevin to to send the money. And apparently, from what I under, from what I see, Meet Kevin is not so quick on sending them the money. So these guys are tired of dealing with Meet Kevin, and they're just like, you know what, screw it. We're not doing this channel anymore. Uh, and so when they're saying, at least for now, we're not doing it, not under this YouTube channel. They might start it under a different YouTube channel, but not this YouTube channel, because Meet Kevin is the guy that's hosting it. All the money goes to Meet Kevin, and then they have to beg Meet Kevin uh, to, uh, to give them the money. And obviously, Meet Kevin either left the show or was kicked out a while ago when the market started turning. And you see, I find it interesting because when the market is going up, and again, this has a lot to do with how retail operates, because I was just on the phone with, with my friend, and when it comes to Voxter, as you know, Voxter is one of my ideas on this YouTube channel. Uh, Voxter recently was as high as $1.70, right? And, and then it was just like a continuous downturn. So here's how retail operates. The guys want to buy the stock when everybody else is on board, right? So they would buy at 85. Uh, 
happy to buy. Now the stock is at 50, they're afraid to buy, right? Retail, retail is only happy when other retail is happy, when they get confirmation. They, they, uh, you know, they, they don't understand, or, or maybe they understand, but they don't have the courage with their conviction as to, hey, you know, this, this would be a time to buy good companies. No, 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 no. Whatever the stock price is doing, that's how retail operates. So retail has been absolutely crushed, okay? Crushed, and then these guys have a role in crushing them, right? Um, and again, everything is down, but what these guys recommended is a complete trash, and those companies are probably going, going to go under. So it's a permanent capital loss. If you sh lose money on a stock and then the fundamentals behind it are strong, it's a, it's, it's a temporary capital loss. You should be adding more money into the positions that you believe in, and then there's fundamentals behind it, whether it's an asset fundamentals or business fundamentals or whether the business is going to do well in the future, right? So, so, uh, so that's that. And if you like compare the fundamentals to a company like Tattooed Chef, for example, I mean, it's a complete piece of trash. Like the, the, the margins are not there. Like I don't care what price Tattooed Chef is, Tattooed Chef goes to, it would never be a buy for me because it's a complete, complete, uh, you know, uh, weak fundamentals. There's nothing there, right? So anyway, but now during good times, okay, during good times, these guys represent the retail. They're, they're, they're talking to the retail guys. They're talking to the dummies, okay? Um, and when the good times when the stock prices and the markets are good, they're all happy with each other. They're shaking hands with each other. They're starting YouTube channels, podcasts together. They're, you know, paying for each other's dinners and they're visiting each other's houses. Everything is beautiful. Then when the market turns, then they, they turn against each other. And you see a lot of creators are criticizing each other, exposing each other. I did, I did that too. But that's what happens when, when turns... Uh, things turn tough. They, uh, you know, they turn on each other. They they leave the show. Like Kevin left the show. Then these guys continue with the show. And then Kevin doesn't want to pay them or delay paying them. Then they make like him uh, public videos on how oh Kevin is not paying him. I'm going to uh, you know expose him uh, to show everybody that he's he's this and he's that. When times are tough, that's when you learn. That's when you learn who your true friends are. That's when you learn who the true investors are. That's when you learn your own conviction and ideas. It's in the bad times that, 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 that you learn those things. In good times, everybody is happy, uh, happy-go-lucky, things are good, everybody is making money. It's, this is what separates the best from the rest. It's those times today. So anyway, uh, they're going to tell you uh, on camera, why they are shutting down because they need a break, they go on vacation. The real reason is something else: is the stress that they're going through. I mean, look look at what what this guy just did with um, with the crypto exchange, right? He was sponsoring FTX or whatever, uh, and he told his followers that he's uh, ending the relationship with the crypto exchange, where in reality the crypto exchange ended the relationship with every other YouTube creator, and they send a letter to every other YouTube creator uh, ending their relationship. And this guy came out and lied to his viewers that he's the one that ended the relationship. So, so he has a track record of lying, right? And now uh, looking behind behind the hood on this, what's going on with millennial money, and they're, them coming out and saying that they're ending it because they need a vacation, yeah, you do need a vacation. You, you are under a lot of stress, okay? That's true. It's true. It's a YouTube grind. But the real reason why you guys are shutting down is because Kevin, Kevin is hosting this show. You have to beg Kevin for money, and he doesn't want to pay you on time. That's the real reason. Everything else is just a cover for why you're ending the show.